Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, meron na naman tayong review for board exam. And this came from Engineering Mathematics Differential Calculus. Pero before that, mga Lodi Cakes, shoutout muna kay Stenzel Staff tsaka kay Justin James Magos ng mga Lodi Cakes natin. And I hope you all the best and keep safe. God bless mga idol. So ito yung problem natin. The tangent line to the curve y equals x cubed at the point 1 comma 1 will intersect the x axis at x equals blank. So, ang concept dito mga logic x, the first derivative. Let us recall in calculus, specifically differential calculus, that the first derivative of a curve will correspond to the slope of the tangent line. Notice that 1 comma 1 is a point on the curve. So, wala pa yung problema. Kasi 1 cube is equal to 1. So, okay lang. Hindi siya complicated. So, na-check na natin na nagsasatisfy siya dun sa curve. So, sinabi nga ni Sir IJ that the first derivative, mga Lodi Cakes, will correspond to the slope of the tangent line. So, let's get the, the, the slope by computing the first derivative. So, differentiate. So, we have y prime is equal to 3x squared. So, that is the power rule. Ibaba lang si 3, Sir IJ. And then, bawas ng isa sa exponent. So, this means that 3x squared is the slope of the tangent line at any point on the given term. So, we can say that m is equal to 3x squared. However, a point is given which is 1 comma 1. So, ang x natin ay 1. So, palitan natin to ng 1. So, this will become 3 times 1 squared. That is positive 3. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line is equal to 3. Kaya lang, ang hinahanap naman, ano daw yung patamaan sa x-axis ng line or ng tangent line natin. Meron tayong slope, meron tayong point, so, let us recall the point slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So, we have y. Ano yung y sub 1 natin? The y coordinate of the given point. y minus 1 is equal to 3, the slope of the tangent line multiplied by x minus 1. Ulitin ko po, x sub 1, y sub 1 corresponds to the point of tangency. So, y minus 1, just distribute 3x minus 3. So, we have y equals 3x, negative 3 plus 1, that is negative 2. So, ito na po yung equation ng tangent line natin, mga Lodi Geeks. Ang hinahanap, saan daw siya tatama sa x-axis? Alam natin na kapag x-axis, yung value ni y ay 0. So, we have y, so replace y with 0, so we have 0 equals 3x minus 2. So, magiging 3x equals 2. Divide both sides by 3. Therefore, the final answer is x equals 2 thirds, which makes letter A as our answer for the given problem. So, just in case meron kayong questions or clarifications, guys, huwag kayo mayayang mag-comment sa comment section. Maraming maraming salamat sa mga idol natin na patuloy na sumusupport sa YouTube channel ni Sir IJ, sa Facebook page, as well as sa may personal Facebook profile. Kita kits mga idol sa mga susunod na engineering-related tutorials natin. And I hope you all the best. Bye-bye and God bless.